We have to support the neighboring countries, especially Lebanon, Jordan and, and Turkey, uh, because I think the, the inflows of refugees will only further, might further increase. We don't really know it, what is going to happen with the, with the conflict. But um, there is a possibility that uh, numbers could increase. And more important, people uh, will stay for a longer period in these countries. Um, uh, this will be one of the next protracted uh, refugee crises. That means a refugee crisis where people are staying five years or even longer in these countries. And therefore you need some structures uh, to integrate these refugees. And uh, the EU must, EU countries, EU member states must assist these countries uh, to cope with this inflows. We have to think about a, a, a EU quota system, something that is replacing uh, the current Dublin system because um, this is not really working and uh, member states are not f fulfilling their duties, their responsibilities. Um, standards are very different in EU countries and that is why, um, and that is because uh, some member states um, think these Dublin regulations are simply unfair because those countries at the EU external borders will are obliged to carry the, the heavy burden of, 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 of refugee intake. So there has, um, there, something must change in this, in this regard. If you have criteria, for example, population size or national income or so, you could set up a fair quota and then think about how uh, countries who are taking uh, in many refugees are compensated.